I'm gonna turn the AC off. I don't. I have. Extraordinary. It is recording, Sakanka. I don't have a remote control for the AC. You don't? No, not this one. Flip, flip. Happy First Suit Friday, everybody! Happy Fursuit Friday! It is very hot these days, but yeah, here we are. are! We just saw the new Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse movie. Which is also hot! Yes! It just came out yesterday. Well, technically, I think it came out today. We saw our early screening. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we, we said that we were going to do a review of it, and uh, this is it. This is I our review. I, I said I wasn't going to do a review for it, and I wasn't going to go see it. Oh. So, uh, if you've seen the first movie, you're going to love this one. If you haven't seen the first movie, you probably could see the first movie before you see this. Uh, it helps. It, it helps. definitely even helps. If you, even if you haven't, eh. If you look, if you're going into this movie to see a bunch of Spider-Man cameos from across the Spider-Verse. And by Spider-Verse, we mean like every Spider-Man continuity ever created. Yes. Yeah. Pretty much. Like, it's all fair game. You might not say, you'll be like, well, what about this Spider-Man? Okay, look. They crammed like a million in there, but the problem is there's a million and one Spider-Man. So that one you don't see, that's the only one that's not there. <laughs> but more than likely, if you can think of a Spider-Man, they're probably in there. We probably just <clears throat> missed them. I will say this one thing. It does seem that there was a variation of one of the Spider-Men that might have something to do with legal issues. So they are slightly really? modified. And that's my idea of it. Okay, well, do you want to talk about the spoiler section maybe? Or? Yeah, we can. Okay. It's just a minor thing. So yeah, uh, if you're a fan of Spider-Man at all, uh, you are you should see this movie. It is very good. Uh, like, Usually I'm like, oh, uh, all the critics are saying this movie is bad. I thought it was really good. Apparently everybody is saying it's great. I uh, just saw an ad on uh, the TV saying uh, it's got five-star ratings and everybody loves it. And I'm like, okay. I mean, I'm glad that people are liking it, but it also makes me having the same opinion. So, oh well. But yeah, uh, definitely glad we didn't wait uh, very long to see it. Uh, spoilers are getting posted everywhere. So yes, the yes. sooner you can see it, the better. Otherwise, you may have to... Uh, you know, do a media blackout uh, type stuff. Yes, if you're the kind that does not like spoilers, you pretty much have to stay off of Facebook and YouTube. And if you're like, I can't live without either of those, then you need to go see the movie now. You call your boss, tell him, hey, I can't work today. Hey, your sick relative that's in the hospital, say, I'm sorry, you have two choices. <laughs> not be sick or not have me as a visitor, because I've got to go see that Into the Spider-Verse. Starring the Cross. Peter Parker. Across. Oh, darn it. Across. The Spider-Verse. <laughs> the, the titles are very obtuse. Right? Yes, yes. And what's the... Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, the... Uh, so yeah, definitely, as soon as we got home, I, w I went out to, to YouTube, and there was a video that came out while we were gone that, uh, like, the thumbnail gave away uh, a, a key character that shows up in it. Yeah, that's the problem. A lot of these sites, especially something like Screen Rant, do not care if they spoil the movie. I don't, for even you from, the well, I don't think you know if it was screen read, but yeah, uh, it might not have been. But it, I've definitely yeah. gotten spoilers from their thumbnails before and their video titles. I'm like, but the thing just yeah. came out. Yeah, that that is that is. Rude. F you, screen rant. Ryan George is the only good thing you got going for you. And even then, uh, he's got his own channel now. Yes, is this true? Just watch his own channel. Don't watch his screen rant stuff. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, so. Uh, this movie uh, actually takes place uh, what a, a year or two after the yeah they they do the specify the exact time frame uh, We're pretty close to exact it's like a year and a half or something so, like uh, that so the the or the, the only real major difference is Miles is now uh, bigger and yeah, uh, more experienced at being Spider Man yes he's uh, puberty has hit him uh, well. Uh, superhero puberty. As well, it were. yeah, you guys could say superhero, but he's already at the age where he's gonna he's getting older. He's yeah. uh, sixteen in this one. Oh, is that he is, that, is like okay. halfway through puberty? Yeah, I mostly so. meant like uh, in in usually uh, 
uh, Peter Parker is a scrawny yeah. nerd, and he gets bitten by the spider, and he wakes up and is like, hey, yeah. I got abs now. Yeah, this is true. Whereas Miles didn't get abs uh, Miles previously. Just got, he just got taller, and he grew some facial hair. That was another thing they mentioned. Yeah, there was a... a I'm sorry, was a okay, look, I, did, I, mean, I don't know if that's a spoiler or not, but he yeah, for a moment had a little fine. bit of facial hair. So yeah, he might be going through superhero puberty, but he's going through regular human puberty as well. So he's gotten a little bigger, but otherwise he's still Miles. Indeed. And he does the standard, uh, gets a new costume because it's a new movie routine, so. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, it's not too far off in the old oh, one, no, but uh, there, didn't there, there, are, there are comments made in the movie about yes. him oh. having a, an altered costume. Yes. I, I'm, I'm still wearing the classic look, though. It's the best look. So anyhow, uh, definitely, definitely worth watching. Uh, all, all the uh, the major pl players uh, make a return at some point in the movie from the previous one, even if it's just a cameo. Some, some are just cameos. Yes, yes, uh, uh, they, it's a chock full of cameos. I, I am. Uh, the majority of the characters are cameos. I am definitely thinking though that those that are even are just cameo returns uh, will probably uh, feature more heavily in the third. Uh, oh, definitely movie. some of them will, but I think it's going to be the majority will be relegated. The majority, not all, but the majority of the characters we see will be. I'm guessing it'll still be cameo. But uh, yeah, Miles and Gwen are uh, are pretty much the two major uh, yes. characters we follow in this story. Yes, and it does follow. Well, you know what? They came to this. Is that should we spoil? It's gonna be. We're, we're gonna to get the spoilers uh, eventually, but oh, okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to be as as vague as at this point. So all far. right, all right. But uh, yeah, the if you've seen the the end of the first movie, uh, that ca that character who was featured in the the stinger at the end, uh, he is also a uh, the major character oh, in this. The character this at story. the end, Spider Man. Who was at the end of the last movie? There was a Spider Man. Yes. There. You talking about him? Yes. Or are you talking about Spider Man? Yes. Peter Parker? No. Spider Man. Yes. Why do you never see Peter Parker and Spider Man in the same place? Uh, yeah, you do. He looks like a, a green red Peter panda. B, Peter B. Parker. You see him in Spider-Man all the time. What does the B stand for? Ben. Really? That's probably it. You're right. Huh. But what would it be? Oh, Benjamin. What? I wasn't thinking. It's like, wait a minute. Ben's not a full name. I was like, yeah, Chopper ben <laughs> Benjamin. Uh-huh. Okay, finish your thing. Let me let me run through the things my, my own head here. <laughs> so yeah, uh, there's uh, even a, a few uh, new Spider-Man, or at least ones that I had never heard of, that show up in this. Uh, and uh, there's definitely a few uh, winks and nods to uh, the Spider-Man video game, uh, the one that I've been playing. Uh, I was playing on my uh, uh, Twitch uh, channel uh, the day before. Uh, so yeah, twitch.tv slash Uh Also. Uh, be sure to tune in uh, tonight and uh, this rest of this weekend uh, to twitch.tv slash transientplayer uh, where uh, oh. she'll be playing the Portal games. You've never played them before, right? I don't know what a Portal is. Uh-huh. Is it like an Einstein-Rosenberg bridge? I, is it Rosenberg or is it just Rosen? Oh, son of a gun. It's a Rosenberg? Yeah, it's just like an Einstein-Rosen bridge? I think that's how these I games. think you're but right. But I anyhow, watched too, I watched too much Breaking Bad and got the Bergs in there. Ah, uh, Heisenberg, and certainly principal. I don't think he was a principal. I think he was just a science teacher. <laughs> Anywho, uh, yeah. Um, normally, I'd have the cast list to to read off here, but I I neglected to look up the arm. cast uh, of this movie. Uh, but uh, yeah. The, the the cast is a mix of uh, of famous voices and uh, not as famous voices, I guess. Uh, maybe some of them uh, I just don't know personally. But uh, there were definitely there definitely wasn't a whole lot of uh, oh, it's that guy who does that thing, you know, every every five minutes. Uh, you know, other than like a you know, obviously the returning characters are voiced by famous people. Uh, there weren't a whole lot of characters that I felt uh, the voices were distracting, which, you know, I'd, I'd say is a, a good thing. You know, uh, as, as much as, you know, star power can be a, a reason why you'd be attracted to watching something, uh, being distracted by it, I think, uh, negates a lot of uh, the enjoyment of 
hearing or seeing pe celebrities that you enjoy in a project personally? What do you think? I agree. The cameo, the focus was on Spider-Man, not their voices. The voices are, you know, they are people. Their names you may have heard of, mm -hmm. but it's, I felt like they were so unimportant. Agree. Uh, and one last thing, uh, this, uh, this movie is definitely pays, uh, something that will be paid off, uh, big if you, uh, are familiar with the Spider-Man mythos of any generation, pretty much. So if, if you grew up reading or watching, uh, Spider-Man at any point, uh, you'll, uh, find more enjoyment if this is the very first thing of Spider-Man you've ever seen. Would, would you agree to that? Come on, come on. Yeah, sure, why not? I like Spider-Man. Look, there's a lot of Spider-Man. You like Spider-Man? There's a yeah, lot of Spider-Man. There's a lot of Spider-Man. What do you want to see Spider-Man do? He does it. There you go. <laughs> and it. then some. Yeah, there, there's, there's so many. a lot what? of cool things that uh, the various Spider-Man do yeah. that is never I've never seen done before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, you know that one, the, the one Spider-Man you don't like? He's in there. But you know oh. what? The one you do like, he's in there too. That's it. And there's Spoilers! Uh, and, and it's also uh, does a lot more than Multiverse of Madness did as far as different yeah. universes uh, by, I'd say, t doubling the amount that uh, that uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness did. Probably, so. probably way more than double. Spoiler time! Yes! So, uh, if you haven't seen the movie and you don't want spoilers... Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next Friday. No happy happy, happy first week Friday. And bye bye. Everybody who's still here at this point, uh, I will try to remember no, to I, mark in the description I don't, I don't want any spoilers. when this is. I don't want any spoilers. Uh, I will try to mark in the description when this is. Uh, so hopefully, you, you can see down below, what th and that's why you're here. Uh, I probably should have said that before starting the, the video, but uh, hey, uh, we're doing this on the fly. Uh, so yeah, uh, are you seriously? I don't, want any, I don't want any spoilers. So, this movie focuses a lot on Gwen, at least to yes. begin with. Like, a good portion of the intro is just Gwen, and I like that because... We didn't get to know a lot about yeah, her in the first movie. We didn't get to movie. know a lot about her. This one you do. She, it was mostly just, uh, oh, hey... I got had the same situation happen to me, and I got spider powers, and I'm just like you guys. They're all Spider-Man. Yeah, it covers the differences between what happened in her origin story. It has the same beats also, as a typical Spider-Man story, but the also, characters are swapped out. Also, there's a drastically different art style for everybody's yes. universe. Yes, that's the thing. Like, in the first movie... You had the one anime character who seemed a little more like cell shading. Penny, Penny right? Parker. Yes, Penny Parker. In this one, they went whole hog. You had uh -huh. you uh, Spider you, Ham, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Peter Parker. <laughs> but there's all different styles of animation. They have one character that is. I don't want it to go too spoiler, right? There's one character that's just straight up like drawn on parchment paper, and oh, it yep. shows. There's another that about character. The, uh, the good guy or the bad guy? The bad guy. Oh, okay. The other guy was magazine. It wasn't part. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One guy comes in, he's always looks like he's just made out of magazine clippings. You know, like, there's... Uh, oh, and the, and the intro! Oh my god! The, the Marvel Studio logo and all the other production logos were all, like, multiple different versions of them. I thought that was so such a cool way to start it off. Yes, yes. They really went whole hog with it, and this one, it was like, you know what, we're just gonna it, do... It. And even the, the Columbia lady... I uh, got a little bit of that treatment. I wish there was more with her, but maybe they were a little more protective of uh, of the way the, the logo looked. But anyhow, uh, yeah, definitely uh, definitely really cool. We get to see a, a an Indian Spider-Man. Yes, yes. He is one that I was actually familiar with before. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm really far away. He's one that I was actually familiar with before because I had read about him online. I was like, what an intriguing looking Spider-Man. And uh, I read about him. In this movie, he's drawn... Uh, his costume's a bit different than the one I was familiar oh. with. Um, it It is as... It's basically like the same Spider-Man and he's got the same name, the same origin, but a very, very different look than the one I had originally seen, which was minimally different from our, our Spider-Man. Okay. But yes, that was wonderful. Oh my gosh. 
so many Spider-Man. The one that I think I was most excited to see on screen... Spider-Punk? Uh, was Spectacular Spider-Man. Oh. Because he kind of got the shaft. Yeah, and we finally got to watch that not too long ago. Yes, we got to watch it, so thankfully I'm familiar now. Yay! And the voice actor for that Spider-Man was supposed to voice him in a little cameo episode in um, Avengers Earth's Mighty Earth's yeah. Mightiest Heroes, and he apparently recorded all his lines, but then they cast a new Spider-Man for Ultimate Spider-Man, and they wanted the same voice actor... So they re-recorded all the actors' lines, and it was like it would have been a really cool nod to yeah. have the other Spider-Man. Uh, no, did, didn't he also get to be in Young Justice? Oh, I, I could. As like a, a villain Spider. Uh, theme oh yeah, 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 yeah. Guy. He played um, uh, oh, like Black I, Spider. Yeah, it was something like he's basically just an evil Spider-Man yeah. in DC universe. Vi- well, villainous, uh, anti. Yeah, villainous. Yeah, but anyway. Same uh, kind of costume, same. But yeah, that's that's DC. It's neither here nor there. Uh, but yeah, the DC, uh, the DC Spider Man. I'll show up in this. I made that up. <laughs> Fake spoiler. Uh, but yeah, uh, the the one thing that uh, since we're in spoiler territory, uh, things that uh, starting to be given away is that uh, the Spot is a major antagonist in this yes. uh, movie. I always uh, felt like the Spot had not really gotten a fair shake. So many people talked about how stupid he was and how much they hated him, and I always I liked, liked him. I liked him. I never I, I thought that him. episode was... Re- the, the 90s Spider-Man show? Yeah, I, I thought was that fine. was on the, one of my... Like, granted, you know, Green Goblin's not in it, but he gets the portal technology because of this episode. Yeah, I, so. was, I was very fine with it. I was A-OK with the character. I think maybe the main complaint is this guy has, like ridiculous, super amazing power, and well, he used it to do petty things. He, in the episode, he kind of just, he become, he becomes this character, and he dies by the end of the episode. Yes. So it was a one and done thing, and that might have been the, the only thing I'd say is worth complaining about, is that he kind of just, just disappears like that. But uh, he actually is uh, in like one of the last episodes as well, uh, in the... Uh, crossover of the other Spider-Man episodes, uh, there is a portal device that creates spider carnage. Yes. And he's in there as just to his normal self. Mm-hmm. Uh, video I was watching was uh, pointing that out. I was like, oh, I did. don't even think I even caught that back in the day. Uh, but yeah, uh, so in this one, uh, unlike in the, the 90s cartoon, uh, this one, his face is just gone. He has no face. It's yeah. just a, it's just the 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 hole, yeah. uh, the portal hole. Yeah, in the '90s cartoon, yeah, he still had facial features, and he could actually, uh, through some concentration, shift himself back into what basically yes. looks like a normal human, at least from the neck he, up. He just had a a, a, yeah, a, a black spot, spot on his chest yeah. that he could he had to reduce it to, but in this one, uh, he is kind of just become a. Uh, homunculus of sorts. Uh, he's not fully human anymore. Uh, and, uh, he, he wants revenge against Miles for, uh, what he perceives is, uh, the cause of his, uh, yes. his situation. Yeah, in, and in the first movie, there was a throwaway, a throwaway scene where Miles threw a hole at him. And thus he got the power of holes. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so he he's you know angry. He wants to be a villain because uh, nobody will take him seriously. And uh, when he's humiliated, uh, you know, three more times, uh, that's when he's like, "All right, I'm gonna go and take a level in badass, and uh, you know, get more powerful." Yeah, he starts. And I'll be serious. back for revenge. Yep. And then he has the ability to travel. Oh yeah, that was another thing. Uh, yeah, we're spoiling. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, that they reference Tom Holland di- uh, pretty, pretty yeah, all directly. The, they, almost, I pretty much all the movies get referenced, including uh, yeah. Venom. Yeah, but at the start of this one, they mention uh, there's a character loose oh, from yeah, the yeah. multiverse, and they mention that um, like things got screwed up when the uh, Spider-Man of Earth and I was it uh, 199999 yeah something, something like that, that. It's, it's the Marvel Cinematic Universe what we would call the Marvel Cinematic Universe now that that version of Spider-Man screwed things up and they also mentioned Doctor Strange being involved yep so it's like oh they they know of that Spider-Man and they they blame him uh, uh, they don't so yeah 
pretty much uh, the only reason some of these characters don't appear is because of things like that, where it's like, yeah, uh, we don't like them. You know, they're they're specifically Disney's characters, and this yeah. is the Sony Marvel Spider Man. Yeah. So it's it's a little bit of a weird legal loophole, but it makes sense uh, in the movie why. Uh, those specific ones uh, don't show up other than in archive footage. Yes, yes. And also, they had, uh, like, a, the Fantastic Four Spider-Man uh, missing the number four, and I'm assuming oh, it might have to do might, with uh, yeah. a rights issue. You, I didn't think of that. Yeah, okay. you, you can say that, you know, they, oh, they're working together or whatever, but it's limited. It's, even when you have two entities that are working mm -hmm. directly with each other, sometimes there's walls. Indeed. And uh, the Spider-Man the sticks to these the walls. Time. Oh, yes. Yeah, the CW ran into so many issues, though legally, there was nothing from stopping them from introducing any DC character into, this, into the really? CW universe legally. Okay. But oh, because but. there's one company doing the movies, one doing the show, they didn't um. want to step on each other's toes. So any time a character appeared in both, there was a, they had to, like, it was a careful dance there. So that reminds me, uh, I recall that was an issue uh, for the, the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. Uh, the, I want to say Sandman was uh, supposed to be the main antagonist in a movie that was being developed but never happened at the time. Mm. And that was why we never had Sandman in the 90s Spider-Man cartoon. Well, yeah, we did. The 90s Spider-Man cartoon? Yeah, the radioactive Spider-Man. Yeah. Da -da 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 yeah, he was in there. There's, was there Sandman? Maybe I'm making Sandman it up. And a Hydro Man. I know Hydro Man was there, but I don't. I could swear it was not. Oh, no, okay. no I pull up a pic. Oh, I don't have my phone here. Yeah, I plugged it in. Okay, I'm positive. I'll should, we'll look at it later. We'll look at it later. But anyway, there's Spider-Man in the movie, and the movie ends. It just ends. Yeah. There's no, sa like... Sadly, this is a uh, Empire Strikes Back style, yes. you know, thing where it's like, how are we going to get out of this one? You better go see the third yeah, movie when I it thought, comes out. It was a cheap move because... You... I could. I was like, oh, man, this is getting really, really big, and it's feeling like this is getting ready to wrap up yeah. without being so, uh, resolved. I mean... They they uh they announced a while back that this was gonna be uh yeah. two two movies and it's definitely it's not like uh Endgame and Infinity War where yeah they were connected directly but each one on its own yeah. was a complete movie this is not that this is half of a very long movie yes this is a really long movie it's long because the movie focuses on Miles' relationship and Gwen's relationship with their families. And the uh, Spider-Man action is just there, and it gets slowly explained, and it's fun, but the end game is not obvious until the end of the movie, and mm. then the movie ends before, before resolution. Yes. So the next one, if it picks up at the same the same pace the last one left mm -hmm. off, it'll be, it'll be mind blowing. But we'll I mean, see. I still think this one was pretty mind blowing. I liked it a lot, but yeah, the the ending I felt was just. It was cheap. It was a cheap move. Cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> Bird noises. Bird. So, yeah. Um, definitely recommend you check it out. Uh, if if you've seen everything Spider-Man, I'm sure you've already seen this. How awesome were all those cameos? And uh, Andy Samberg's in it. And uh, Donald Glover has Donald a cameo. Glover? Oh, my God, the Donald Glover cameo. I don't want to spoil that. Even though this is a spoiler section, if you haven't seen it, the Donald Glover cameo um, is very obvious, and I freaking loved it, and it is a callback to something that was supposed to happen, or was at one point planned to mm -hmm. have happened. It may still be planned to have happened eh, maybe, in the MCU. Maybe, uh, I'd say that there's the a news, low possibility of given it Given the news that was happened. just revealed today. Oh. Or I believe oh, really? it was just revealed today. Um, it sets up an increased possibility that it will go somewhere. Okay. So anyhow, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And like I said, uh, at the end of the spoiler-free section, uh, tune in tonight for Azurine playing uh, Portal for the first time. Uh, Twitch.tv slash transient player. Okay, uh, you've also... Oh, I should have plugged your uh, your other video before we go into spoilers, but you oh, got... But I did want to say Portal. It's about, like, yeah. breaking dimensional space. 
not quite going into the multiverse, yeah. but it kind of fits. Indeed. I okay, agree. Oh, what were we going to say? Oh, because you're, I'm you're seeing see... a movie in yes, a few days. I, I'm seeing a movie on my own because the Conco expressed his uh, undying distaste for me and his. Ah! I, I mean that Sakanko says he never wants to see a movie with me again. Uh, actually, it's a movie that really just I show particular interest in. It's a strong interest. Um, I don't know just how many... Just say what it is. Yeah. It is... Shin Kamen Rider. It is not the Shin Kamen Rider that was, what, the 90s? There you go. It's pretty close. Um, it is a... Uh, this, I believe the second remake. Because the first remake, I think, was Kamen Rider Ichigo. Okay. Or, or Kamen... Strawberry. Yeah, yeah. Hmm? But, uh... Um, I mean, Trevor. Does it really? Because Are, Ichi's one. Pretty sure. And the movie's generally advertised as Kamen Rider the First or something. But anyway, okay. this one okay, is Shin... Okay, maybe it means... This one is Shin Kamen Kamen Rider. It is a more true-to-form reboot of the original Kamen Rider show from 1971. I was so disappointed that I had to miss the Wednesday... It's a fathom event. You thought you were going to miss it. Yes, I had to miss the Wednesday night showing because I have my ASL classes then, and I give a friend a ride. So American they were, Sign Language. Yes, oh, yes, American Sign Language. And I can't miss those because I had to drive a friend. But Monday, they added an extra showing on Monday, and I'm now super stoked because I'm going to ride my motorcycle <gasps> up to see it because he's riding motorcycles. And that's not something I could have done with Sakanko. Um, at least I don't feel comfortable. I, I would not either. Yeah, see, so he doesn't want to I'd ride be, the I'd bike. be scared. Yeah, it's a, it's a long. You also trip. don't have another helmet. Oh, I do. You do? I do. I have a spare helmet in the shed. But uh, but yeah, uh, I, I'm I'm super stoked to go see it, and, uh, and I'm super stoked that you get to see it. Yes, and I get to ride a motorcycle. I got I got a red scarf coming, so I can oh. wear the scarf like like the hero. And you're gonna review it, right? Yes, yes. On your channel. Takeshi Hongo. What's the What's the name of your YouTube channel? Transi. You... Oh wait, yes. <laughs> it, I have two channels. I have one for Az- Shireen Azurim, but it's going to end up on the Transient Player channel. Okay. It's all one word because that's where I'm going to upload the motorcycle videos. I'll, I'll try and... to put the uh, link to it in the description. But yeah, uh, definitely check out her channel. She'll be doing a review of uh, that for. Uh, is you gonna do it for First Week Friday next week or? Yeah, yeah, we could do it. I might maybe do it for first week. I might just, I don't know. We'll see how things play out. Okay. But yeah, th- thanks for watching. <laughs> Have a first, happy first week Friday. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see you uh, if you're going to Anthrocon. We'll see you at Anthrocon in uh, just a few weeks. Yay. Look forward to a schedule video. Still working on it. <laughs> Bye. Bye.